Hey there drone fans, Rick here again from Drone Valley. So today I'd like to take a closer look at another one of my favorite accessories for the Mavic Pro, the range extender. Now I've been using these guys for the last couple of months with my Mavic and I find they're very effective at increasing the signal strength, especially at short distances and noisy environments. They allow me to maintain a tighter connection with my quad that I can't really get with the antennas alone. So I find them to be very effective. Now I've used these before in different forms on my Phantom Series products and had the same results. And honestly, I'm not interested in flying 22 miles with my quad. So I know a lot of people maybe have done clips on these and say, hey, they're not graded long distances and it gets a little flaky. For me, what these do is really increase that signal strength where I need it locally. So if I'm looking for flight within a visual line of sight and I'm in a noisy environment because of power lines or Wi-Fi interference, these guys help me overcome that. So they're wonderful for that. Now, they're based on the physics principle known as the parabolic effect. That's been around forever. Actually, one of my heroes, Archimedes, as an engineer, I love that guy. He actually created, or the legend says, he created this parabolic reflective surface that redirected sunlight to burn ships in the harbor that were attacking the city. How cool a story. So the principle's been around forever, and what it means is you can take a reflective surface and redirect different waves, whether they be light waves or radio waves, in a direction you choose. Now, the reason that's important with your controller is because your controller uses omnidirectional antennas, and these omnidirectional antennas have a radiation pattern that's 360 degrees, which means 50% of the signal is coming back towards you and it's being wasted, being shot behind you. It's doing nothing to improve your connectivity downfield. So what these do, by sliding them on the antennas, is they redirect that wasted signal that would be coming back towards you, downfield towards your quad. Now it's important to note that the curve of this parabolic dish really determines how wide a transmission pattern you've got downstream. So if that curve is really, really tight, that's going to be a very narrow beam downstream, which is great if you're doing transmissions or things across long distances. In this case, the curve is very wide, which means downfield, that signal width, if you will, is maybe 100, 120 degrees. So a lot of people worry, well, geez, when I put these things on, do I have to be laser focused on the quad downfield? You don't have to worry about that because the beam spread is so wide, you just have to be in the general compass direction, if you will, of your quad. So there's no concerns about losing it there. The other thing I like an awful lot about these is a lot of people don't realize that the position of your antennas is super important. So if you have them set up a little wonky like that where they're not perfectly aligned, you're dramatically affecting your radiation pattern downfield. What these do by just sliding them on the antennas is they actually force the antennas in the perfect alignment to give you a parallel set of antennas, both forced to face the same direction because you've got a nice flat plane now between these two. So in addition to the fact that they can reflect the signal further, aligning those two antennas gives you an additional boost of your signal strength. So I like them an awful lot. And as I talk about accessories, I always like accessories to be a couple of things. I like them to be simple to use, I like them to be inexpensive, and I like them to be portable, especially with the Mavic because it's such a small product. So these are really nice because they fold in half. They don't fold completely in half, but they fold enough to get them in your bag. I've seen models of these that are rigid that don't fold, and the challenge I've got with those is that over time, because they're plastic, they bend and they don't have exactly the right reflection pattern, or worse, they crack when you put them in your bag. So I like the fact that they're reflective. Now, we're selling these on the website. You can get them from us, you can get them from anybody. Like I always say, shop around, get the best price you can. But if you do buy them from us, just know when you take them out of the box, there's actually a protective film on here that you're going to want to peel off. Um, you don't want to see this as a scratch surface because that film on there does look like they're scratch. But anyway, that's all I really had to say about these guys. I use them probably 70% of the time that I fly. If I'm flying in the country, it's no big deal. But if I'm flying in an urban area around homes or I'm doing something in that, that type of environment, these are extremely helpful for me to overcome any kind of noise in that environment. So that's all I really had for today. If you have any questions on these, please drop them below. I'm happy to get back to you as quickly as I can. Again, if you enjoyed the video, thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel. We really enjoy the subscriber count going up. And uh, thanks an awful lot for watching. If you're finding value in these, like I always say, we'll continue to do them. So happy flying.